God bless your hearts real good. I want to talk about classes. Yeah. Mm. Woo! Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to talk about joy. I want to talk about joy. I remember it was a, who was that? I don't know whether that was Maddie Moss Clark or who it was. A song that said, he gave me joy, joy, joy. He gave me joy. Then there's another that say, the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord, joy of the Lord, joy of the Lord is my strength. Then white bird say, if, it, if, if you have no joy, leap for joy. That's why you're leaving, because you got joy. We're going to talk about joy today. Praise our God. Then white bird say, uh, with joy, it said we draw water out of the well of salvation. And we do that with joy. With joy shall we draw water. Hallelujah. Now I want to talk about joy. A lot of folks don't have no joy. They didn't have it praise break. Praise them sin. You ain't. Let me push that door up. That wind kind of blowing a little bit. Uh. All right. All right. Uh, you don't have no joy, man. It it cost it cost nothing to, to get to get us to moving and dancing and, and man get get that music tight and right. I don't care if it's gospel music, religious music. Or blues or jazz or hip hop. Get that music right. She know we start bopping. <laughs> Hallelujah. Especially us. Especially my people. I preached one time. I told I said, because we as a people, we have rhythm and we have soul. It don't take it get that music tight and right. And she know we when your favorite song come on radio, you turn it up loud. All songs don't do that, but on your favorite song, you turn it up loud. On your favorite beats, you turn it up loud. For the gospel or rhythm and blues or hip hop, your favorite, you turn it up. It's something, man, it gets, it gets you going, boy. Pray break. Hallelujah. Joy. Ooh, all right. Let me, let, let me just go right now. Hallelujah. Where the Holy Ghost is taking me right now. Go to Matthew. I, I think I moved Matthew. I think I want Matthew 28. Joy. Oh, I'm just doing I want Matthew. The whole gonna leave me there right now, so I'm going right now. I want to show you something. Glory to God all day and night. The Holy Ghost lead me here right now. I think I want Matthew. Okay, I did want Matthew. I know where I'm at. Give me Luke. I know the exact verse. I know what the verse said.
Here it is here. Luke chapter 24 and verse 50. Verse 49. Oh, and behold, this is Jesus talking. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. And he led them out in front of Bethany and lifted up his hands and blessed them. And it came to pass while he blessed them, he was parted from them and carried them to heaven. And they worship him and return to Jerusalem with great joy. Joy came from doing what he told them to do. He told them to tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you've been due with power more high. And, and they were glad to go. He said go, and they had joy. And they returned to Jerusalem with great joy. Joy! Come from doing what Jesus told you to do. Joy! You don't need no music. Joy! You ain't got a dime in your pocket. Joy! They persecuted you and ostracized you. In the fifth chapter of the book of Matthew, Jesus said, Blessed are ye, when men shall revive you and do all manner evil against you and speak all manner evil against you falsely. He said, Rejoice! For great is your reward in here. Joy comes from knowing that we have a reward. Joy comes from knowing that we please in God, that we do it in will. That will bring joy. Now the fruit of the Spirit is joy. Love, joy, peace. Uh huh. Long suffering, good, legitimate faith. All that comes from that same Spirit. And that spirit comes from Jesus. And we have all that because of Jesus. <sighs> Glory to God. All right. John. Ooh, let me, let me get this here. We're going to get some more scripture. Let me get this here. Y'all have the joy of the Lord. I have it. No, you don't. <laughs> How you have the joy of the Lord and you get upset with the scripture? How you have the joy of the Lord and you lie and say God said so is he for a miracle? There ain't no joy of the Lord. You, you, you joy because of all that money coming to you that you lie about. How you got the joy of the Lord when Christ say, when Christ fulfilled the law, but you said the law still required time law. You ain't got no joy of the Lord. How you got the joy of the Lord and you disobeying the law? You don't have joy. How you got the joy of the Lord and you, ah, and, and, and you still got sin? When Jesus say his blood for the middle of sin, when his blood clean up all sin, when he'll take all your sin away. No, you don't have joy. No, you don't have the joy of the Lord. You have the joy of the world, not the Lord. All right. How you got joy? The joy of the Lord, then when the Lord tell you what to do, you get mad. Ah! You get upset like that rich young ruler did when he came to Jesus in the... Hey! What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Ah. Woo! My, 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 my. Luke 18 is the right on 18. That's what I want. Luke 18. You ain't got no joy, no Lord. Luke 18, verse 18. And there was a, a, a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master, what shall I do? I might have eternal life. And Jesus said, If I call thou be good, that is not good, but say one that is God. Then look what Jesus told that boy. Thou knowing the commandments. Do not commit a dirty, do not kill, do not steal, don't bear a father with another father and mother. Now, now that boy had more integrity than you all. You all fight. 
the commandments. Ain't nobody put up, ain't love without sin. We all got sin. That be you breaking the commandment, dummy. And he said, all these I care for me, you took. Yeah, you know, you won't say that. You will say, well, ain't nobody put me. Well, we all got sin. Ain't nobody without sin. There's nothing good, nothing, nothing, nothing right to know, not what. He said, all these things I care for you, tell me what Jesus heard thee he say, he said unto him, yet lacketh thou one thing, you're lacking some. Say what they have, distribute to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. And when he heard that, he was very sorrowful. My God, he had joy left in. He didn't have joy of the Lord. When he heard that, he was sorrowful. Sell what you have, give to the poor. That knocks out most of your pastors. They didn't rake it in, and you don't want to give it to them. You big dummy, you don't want to give it to them. And they have, they have nerve enough to talk down to you and talk talk to you any kind of way. And you don't want to give, you don't want to make them rich. They ain't saying what they have to give to the poor. No, they ain't. They ain't giving to the poor. No, they ain't. It say the young man with a soft. Hallelujah. And Jesus said, keep the commandments. Y'all, y'all bag, y'all, that, that, that take y'all to our way. Way none of our sin. That means you break the commandments. So it knock your joy out. And when it comes to you, you shut your show, show. When the scripture, I'm not talking about what I heard. I'm talking about what, what I know, what I've experienced. I've experienced it, and I've been in church long enough. I've seen the preacher preaching the word of God, hallelujah, and they get mad and leave the church, don't never come back no more. Uh-huh, because the preacher preaching the word of God. So, uh, some have gotten mad and never check on it, couldn't find the They couldn't shack up. Yeah, there again, some preachers preach tradition and, you know, clothes and, and run folks with them. I taught the word of God. But what I experienced, man, I preach people the word of God. And all they joy leave, they don't have the joy of the Lord. How you got the joy of the Lord, did the Lord start telling you what you must do? Let go to Matthew 5 for that. Be ye therefore perfect. All right. You speak against that. You don't have no joy in the Lord. You don't have no joy in the Lord. Go say it no more. You don't have no joy in the Lord. Somebody contacted me and said, well, he, he really didn't mean sinless. Wait, the Lord didn't mean you to be sinless? Is that what you're trying to tell me? The law didn't mean you be so the law meant for you to have sin. Look, look, see how your joy left? You don't have no joy, no Lord. Christ fulfilled the law. Christ said, I have I, I will have mercy, not sacrifice. But you still say be sacrifice. You don't have no joy, no Lord. Because when the Lord start talking, your joy leaves. John. All right. Give the 14th chapter of John. Oh. What he told said, what he told said, peace I leave with you, Jesus said, my peace I give you, not as the world gives. You got the joy of the world. Give out to you, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Ye heard how I said I 
go away and come again to you. If you love me, you will rejoice. If you love me, you'll rejoice at that. And the script we read at first, and they went to Jerusalem with great joy. You rejoice at the word, honey. Because I say that I go to my father, my father greater than I. You rejoice at that. You won't be saying Jesus Christ is the Father. And now I told you before we come to pass that when it comes to pass, you might believe. See, so you'll rejoice at what Jesus said. Now, watch this. Go to 15, John 15, at verse 10. If ye keep my commandment, ye shall abide in my love, as I have kept my Father's commandment, and abide in his love. These things I have spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and your joy might be full. You keep the commandments, or are you breaking them? Sin every day, falling short every day. You ain't perfect, that means you break the commandments. You say nobody without sin, that means you break the commandments. You don't have the joy of the Lord. This is my command that you love one another that I love you. Well, love is a commandment. You don't love your brother or sister if you breaking their commandments. If you trespass the trans uh or uh, trespass against them, you don't love your brother or sister. Excuse me. If you refuse to tell them the truth, refuse to give them the gospel. Do anything against them. You don't love them. You steal from your brother. You, you commit a dud on your brother. You backstab your brother. You backbite your brother. You lie on your brother. You don't love them. You won't tell them the truth of the gospel. You don't love them. You tell them time law is still required and you know better. You don't love your brother. I don't care if you don't never say nothing. Now, joy. We talking about joy. The joy of the Lord. People, the joy, even all the fruit of the Spirit, all that work together, joy, peace, long suffering, all that, because of the spirit that's in us. Praise God. It's not a natural attribute. It's because of the spirit. And we have joy. We have the joy of the Lord. Because we know we're doing his will. Even with persecution coming, all that kind of thing. Jesus said, rejoice, for great your reward in heaven. We know our reward is in heaven. That's why we rejoice. Jesus said, that's going to happen to us. He said, they persecuted me, they will persecute you. So persecute they the problem. Sir, not great in this Lord. Jesus, our Lord, they persecuted him. They persecuted us. A couple of apostles say, we got joy. We rejoice for being counted worthy to suffer for the call of Christ after they had been put in jail and whipped and beat. Say, we rejoice to be counted worthy to suffer. Let me get that. We rejoice for being counted worthy to suffer for the cause of Christ. We rejoice. Acts 5, 41. Glory to God. Acts 5, 41. Lord. See you boys. Five forty, and to him they agreed 
and glory to God all day and night long. And when they had called the apostles, watch it, and beaten them, they, they beat them. They commanded them that they should not speak in the name of Jesus, and they let them go. You can't speak in the name of Jesus, speak the law of Moses. The, the same one that persecuted them and beat them, they were the one that taught the law of Moses. You can't preach tithes and offering in Sabbath day and temple and priest and tabernacle and speak in the name of Jesus. There's no mix. And they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer for his name. In daily in the temple and in every house, they ceased not to teach and preach Jesus Christ. And they departed, Acts 5, 41, they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. You know, it's shame when you beat me and persecute me and have my name in mud. That's shame. We're looking with a natural eye. But we, we rejoice at that. It was shame for Jesus to be hanging on the cross. That was their shame. Look at natural. But they rejoice to be kind of worthy of something. I remember when sanctions were placed against me and I found out about it. Man, I was in a poor pit leaping and hollering and praising God and hallelujah for being kind of worthy to suffer for the call to Christ. Rejoice. Joy, joy calm, peace calm. We do long suffering. We do goodness. We have faith because of Jesus Christ, whom we serve, because we know that we in his will, doing his will. That's why we rejoice. Knowing we have peace with God. We have favor with God. Amen. Yeah. Hey, man, in fact, get, get out of here. You, you, you ain't talking about nothing. You ain't talking about nothing. Favor of God. Favor of God ain't about no material blessing. The whole world got material blessing. I don't care if you don't never say nothing. Devil got material blessing. And God ain't on just not just like. Favor of the Lord. Look at Mary. Thou art high in favor of the Lord. Mary was out there hoeing around and could permit fornication and false prophecies and all that kind of mess. Joy. Joy. And peace and all the attributes of the Spirit, through the Spirit, come from us. Knowing that we in the will of God, that we follow in Christ. That's where our joy come from. We know that. We follow in Christ. He said you're going to do what you're doing. He said you're going to put us out of your seal of God. You're going to beat us, whip us, kill some of us, uh, 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 lie, lie on us, bath our will against us. I mean, put us away from your company. He said, oh, you, you hate us. He said, you're going to do that to us. And we got joy about it because we with him. And we in him. And we pleasing him. And our reward is in heaven. We got joy because of Christ. Because we doing Christ's will. And we in his will. All right. You're saying it. You ain't in his will. You break the commandment, you ain't in the wheel. You just jump because that music sounds good. Joy come from knowing it shall show. I did that, hallelujah. If people say, 
The cyber came and said, Master, we saw a man casting out devils in your name. We told him, don't do it. But Jesus told them, you rejoice because your name is written in the Lamb Book of Life. Now, that's what you rejoice about, because your name is written in the Lamb Book of Life. Let's just get that right quick. <laughs> Rejoice because your name is written in the Lamb Book of Life. Luke chapter 10, verse 20. That's all to be joyous about. Joy! Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right, that's enough.